are for cooking. So every Monday, we come out with a new cooking video. Today, we are doing some more crock pot freezer milk. Nice. I feel like I sound like Oprah when I do that. <laughs> so we've got three different things that we're doing today, you guys. We're gonna do one breakfast because I am, it's just easier. With the kids in the morning, we have done other videos on like breakfast burritos and I feel like, oh, and like smoothies and stuff like that. It just makes the morning so much easier. So we're gonna be doing one breakfast, like breakfast bowls. They're gonna be so good. And then we are doing a chicken and gravy crock pot meal. And we are doing a creamy salsa chicken recipe as well. Wow. So you guys, with, with our freezer meals, the way we like to do it, I literally, the less ingredients, the better, and I just like easy. Like, I like to be able to just dump things in and be done with it, because I don't have time to like spend hours and hours making freezer meals. So, these are just what work for us, and our weeks are so busy that I'm like, one, two, three meals during the week that are all ready to go, works for me. Okay, you guys, so the most complex one out of all these recipes is the breakfast one, and that's just because we kind of have to cook everything up and then put it all together. Um, which I'm okay with because the other two are just literally throwing everything in. So basically what we need for this recipe are a pound of hash browns. I have a two pound bag here, so I'm just gonna split that in half. Then you're gonna need some sausage, some bacon, and 12 eggs. Yeah. A dozen eggs, you guys. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna cook all this stuff up, and then we're gonna, I found these cute little bowls. Look at at the store, $6.99 for six of them. I didn't think that was too bad, but you can freeze these and you can microwave these. So oh, awesome. I figured this will be perfect little breakfast bowls for the kids. They can just grab them out of the freezer, heat them up in the microwave in the morning, boom, bam, done. Don't even have to worry about it. And they're like perfect size for them. So if there's any leftover after we fill the six of these, we will put them in a Ziploc bag and then we'll just know to refill them as, as we go. So we'll see how much this all makes, but I'm excited about these ones. So first thing is first on this, you guys, I am a huge advocate, I don't know if that's the word. I am huge on putting sausage and bacon in the oven. It's the easiest way where you're not gonna burn yourself. Oh, I, I do it's, not like when the oil or the water no. splashes on you, the oh. grease, ugh. And it gets all smoky, your whole house smells like bacon which is not necessarily a bad thing, but you know what I'm saying. I just do not like dealing with it, so I put my sausage and my bacon in the oven. It's literally the easiest way ever. Is that maple bacon? This one? I love maple, maple bacon. Oh yeah, this is maple. Oh. <laughs> totally maple. You know, the Farmer John maple bacon is yes. the best. The maple is the best, and I didn't grab it, sorry. That's all right. Sorry. So I will go through though, you guys, for those of you who've never cooked like sausage in the oven, I will go through and turn the sausage. The bacon will cook just fine, but I like to turn the sausage, make sure all of it gets cooked. So basically that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cook all this up. You guys, we ate at Lazy Dogs yesterday and they had the best bacon. My god. It was like, they call it like bacon candy. Oh, it's, it was so so it was good. amazing. I wonder if we can find a copycat recipe for that because that was like that was the best so bacon good. on the It was like an appetizer. And they come out and it's just like candy bacon. Oh. That was the closest to the sriracha jerk bacon jerky um, at Trader Joe's. It was so good. Yeah. It was more crunchy though, so it wasn't yeah. like as soft, which was even better. Boom, getting that bacon on. Getting the bacon going, you guys. You guys, bacon is so delicious. It is so delicious. So and honestly, with this recipe, you can do like bacon and sausage in both. You can make some with just bacon, some with just sausage. So you can like cut the sausage up into like little yeah, pieces? Yeah, I'll cut it up oh, in okay. pieces. So that way it's just like literally like a breakfast bowl. Oh, oh my. so good, Tina. I know. Wow, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Who are you anyways? Uh, Iron Man? Whatever. <laughs> Tell them why I say Iron Man. You guys gotta go check out the video we did yesterday. That was the celebrity look-alike video. Oh my god. That was so much fun, so hilarious. You gotta check it out. You guys, YouTube doesn't distribute videos that are like 
outside of our little niche of like food and and things like that so Which is unfortunate because it was such a fun video. yes but you know what we will still do those videos that yep. we feel like we just want to have fun with so and the kids if you guys go watch that video the kid we are like all cracking, cracking up, up laughing like it was just so fun like so so fun yeah so you guys yeah. have to go see who our celebrity look likes are because <laughs> it's very interesting the kids and jasper and benny oh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put all this stuff into the oven. We're gonna get the hash brown started, and then the eggs I will do here in a little bit, but while everything's cooking, I think we'll start on these other ones, because I think we can get both of those done in the time that it takes for these to cook. So we're trying to multitask Way here. to be efficient, so, babe, way to be efficient. That's what I do. So we have the bacon and sausage in the oven. We got the potatoes cooking up. We've got the eggs here cooking. So as we're waiting for this stuff, we will go ahead and start on this other stuff over here. So, so how many breakfast bowls do you think you're gonna make out of these? I don't know, that's, I'm curious. I'm curious, the recipe didn't say how many it makes, but I mean, there's 12 eggs in here. A dozen eggs, pound of potatoes, a bunch of bacon and sausage. I feel like we could make quite a few out of this. Do so, you add salt and pepper on your eggs? I will, yeah. Yes, I will. For sure, salted eggs are so good. Oh, the best. The best of the best. Comment down below if you guys like put salsa with your eggs. Do you put ketchup Ooh, with your eggs? Some people do ketchup. Yes. Actually, I think Ethan went through a ketchup phase on his eggs. Yeah, and sometimes our does. and sometimes our kids go through syrup stages. They will put syrup. I bet you they put syrup in these. Things. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, because you got bacon and sausage yeah. in it. So they'll probably put a little bit or a lot of syrup. Comment down below and let us know what you guys would do with this bowl. What would you add to it? Ketchup salsa Ooh. or syrup and i'm curious how many of you guys are you guys scrambled egg fans or are you like over easy egg fans i'm curious because i'm not i mean i'll eat okay you know what i like on my scrambled eggs um crap what is it called peanut butter no what's it called tabasco sauce no but a lot of people do like it yes it's this what the heck it's up here oh um you know what i'm talking about yeah it's uh cayenne pepper yes Cayenne pepper is so good on it with salt. Mmm, delicious. I love it. So, yes, that's what I put on my eggs. And um, I usually like my eggs over easy though, but I'll go through phases. Like sometimes I like it over easy, sometimes I like them scrambled. It just depends. But I think when you're making a bowl, you've got to go scrambled. You have to. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. I mean, you don't have to, but. Yeah, you do. So while all that is cooking, you guys, we are gonna do the chicken and gravy. So I've already got my little baggie labeled. Shout out to Lemonade Mom. Lemonade Mom saved my life. Vanessa. She tried. She saw me in one video trying to like get all the stuff into one of these bags, like just without this little tool. And she like was so sweet and sent me one in the mail. And I, it has been a huge lifesaver. So I absolutely love it. So this one calls for obviously chicken. But you guys know, we're just like huge chicken people. We love our chicken. Back, back. Back, back. So this one calls for four to six chicken breasts. So we are gonna just stick some frozen chicken breasts in there. And some of these are a little bit smaller, so we'll probably shoot for, I don't Enough know. that'll fit in the bag. Yeah. Four is good. good. No, four is not good. Five is good. Six. So we have a big family. Six is good. So we got six chicken breasts in there. Let me wash my hands and then we'll do the rest. So next we are gonna just mix all of the like seasoning stuff together. All you're gonna need is two cups of water, a can of cream of chicken soup, Ooh. easy peasy. So, so you've never had any of these before. Nope. That's what I love them though, you guys. And we will, we do give you guys updates on our Instagram and if we're vlogging when we're making it, we give you guys updates there. So we've made, I don't feel like we have found one that we don't like. No, we like them like all. Most of the ones that I have made, we have other videos too, you guys, where we have a lot of different freezer meals and they've all been a hit. Like they haven't been bad at all, so. Yeah, so here we've got one breakfast freezer meal and then we've got two, are these like dinner? Dinners. Total dinners? Yep, total dinners. Dinner freezer meals. Yep, okay, so we got the can of cream of chicken and then you're gonna want two packs of chicken gravy Ooh. to throw in here, so. And then all you're literally gonna do is salt and pepper this bad boy up. Boom, 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 boom. Pepper. And then we're gonna, we're gonna whisk this all together and then pour that right in there. And that's it. That's it, you guys. Wow. I'm telling you, I like it easy. I like it easy. And then we'll just pair this, like the day that we cook this, 
actually, on the day that you cook, you're gonna need a half a cup of sour cream to go in after it's cooked, you're gonna stir it all together. So you don't want it in right now, but the day that you do cook it, you will want it. Which I'm like, that will make it super creamy and delicious. So, okay, so that's basically what it looks like, you guys. How easy was that? Wow. And then we're just gonna pour it into the bag. All over the chicken it goes. Bum, ba, da, bum. <laughs> so you're gonna cook this in your crock pot on low for six to eight hours. So not too shabby dabby. And that's it. That's it. Oh so wait, God. so I, when do you put the cream cheese in again? No, sour cream. So when do you put the sour cream in? Okay, so it's all, once it's in the all crock pot? Cooked, well, yeah, once it's all cooked and it's ready to be served, stir in the sour cream, it will all melt together okay. to make it super creamy. So, how yummy is that, you guys? Wow, and That's what's that it. called? How easy is this, you guys? Anybody can do freezer meals, and I'm telling you right now, it is a life saver. Like, I will take tonight, spend about an hour, maybe an hour in the kitchen, maybe less, probably yeah. less. And, and, yeah, and a little have, bit longer because we film, but Sundays have become Almost like a kind of like a cooking meal prep day. Yes. And it's throughout the week we're like so grateful for it. So grateful because the days where we have baseball or sports or anything going on, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to throw this in the crock pot. The crock pot is my best friend during the week, you guys. And just to have this stuff ready to go and throw it in, it makes life so much easier. Okay, next up, you guys, we have the creamy salsa chicken in the bag. So we've already put about, there's about six chicken breasts in here. So we got that. So you're gonna need basically two cups of salsa in here. So you're gonna mix that. Then you're gonna need one can of black beans, uh, rinsed, which I already did. And then you're gonna need one can of corn, but you guys know I don't love canned corn. So I just got packaged corn and I'm just gonna throw in however much I want. Probably about half a bag, so we're good there. And then you are gonna take eight ounces of cream cheese. Ooh. And I'm actually going to just, it doesn't say to do this, but I'm gonna just chop it up into pieces. I don't wanna just put one big blob of cream cheese in there. So I'm gonna just cut this up, put it in here, mix it all up, pour it in. Wow, easy, easy. peasy. So easy. So I'm just plopping this in here, you guys. Just plopping in the cream cheese. And this is another easy one. Like you can just throw it into the crock pot for six to eight hours on low. So easy peasy. Now we're just gonna mix this bad boy all up here. Oh. I can't believe it's like three meals done. Like done. Oh. And actually the breakfast bowls, depending on how many, like that could be that's a couple days. Yep. If it's like four bowls, and that's literally like one morning if each kid if each kid has has it, right? Yeah, exactly. So Ethan already came down here and is like, I can't wait to have that in the morning. <laughs> I smelled bacon and came downstairs. Yeah, he's like, I came downstairs right away. <laughs> I was like, okay. So they're excited about that. I am too. It just makes life easier, you guys. Wow, look at that, you guys. Yum. And I can make this chicken with my Spanish rice. Ooh. Um, with maybe like a fiesta salad on the side, which would be really good. Um, and then with the gravy chicken, I'll probably do like a white rice on the side and do like a salad or some sort of something like that on the side as well. So just something simple because these are meant to be simple. So here we go. Gonna pour this in here. Going in, baby. Chunky monkey. Wow. <laughs> Chunky monkey. You know, you are the absolute best at crock pot freezer meals. Am I? You are. I don't know about that. No, I think you are. I think it's not that hard. <laughs> Uh, I think it's pretty straightforward and easy. But I still think you're the best. I'm not because a lot of people are very like, they go all out. You know what I mean? Like some people do like 10 oh. right in a row of Whoa. Like all different different ones. So What's the most you've ever done? Three? I don't know. Ooh. What is the most I've ever done? Well, Maybe I think four. when you did the group, you did, you, it was like, you did oh, quite a few, but. Yeah. Quite a few of the same ones. Right, so like for our family though, I think three's the, been the most. I feel like I could do more if I had like time one day just to like, if that's what I was doing that day. Honestly, the worst part you guys is going out and buying the ingredients. For yeah. Me. That's like my least favorite part. So I think if we plan it better and get like five ingredients like set up a few days in advance, 
then we could probably do. Like, not five ingredients, but f ingredients for five meals. Yeah. I think you could easily. And if we get started filming earlier, that's the other thing too. Yeah, that's, it's finding the time, you guys. Having a big family, or having a family just in general, it's just busy. Which is why it's like, yeah, you know what? We could take about an hour right now and prep for the week. It's just busy. It's just busy, you know? <laughs> but I like it. Like, I feel like one day we're gonna miss being busy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like just gonna be us. Hang it out. And the grandkids. Oh, oh yeah. But until then, oh, just gonna be no. us. What am I Hang gonna do? Hang it out. Guys? I'm scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. This one's a little bit more chunky monkey. Look at that. Creamy salsa chicken right there, ready to go. Bam. How's that for life? Boom. And then finally, we've got the breakfast bowls. Look at that. Potatoes. Eggs. Eggs. So We've got only... bacon, sausage. You guys, that looks so good. Looks so good. The only downside to this one is you literally have to cook everything beforehand, but to me, I'd rather do that and then the kids just be able to do their thing in the morning and we're good to go. Yeah, and so... you guys, this takes longer because we're filming, but you could literally get all three of these meals prepped in probably 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah. So definitely yeah. under an hour, three meals prepped, that's so perfect. Those two over there literally took me maybe 10 minutes, if that. Yeah, that's so with filming. This one's a little bit longer just because of everything that has to be cooked. But in the long run, I feel like you're saving time anyway because in the morning you don't have to do all this every single morning, you know? So, so I'm gonna just actually dump everything together and we're gonna make one big bowl and then separate it into little bowls. Oh, I love me some potatoes. You could just dump it if you want. I know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I'm trying to get less grease, I guess. Ooh, greasy, greasy, baby. All right, guys. So I'm basically going to just take this sausage. Boom. Yes, I'm cutting with a steak knife. Ooh, you're in trouble. <laughs> I got so much trouble for that. I don't know why. The smaller knives are easier to handle, I guess. Don't scold us. It makes us just want to do it more. Yeah. <laughs> Like, You're a rebel. You don't like us to eat sugar? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's like, wow, we really got you worked up, didn't we? Hey, let us know down below, you guys. Are you sausage people or are you bacon people? Yeah, so like when you go to McDonald's oh. and you order like a, a, a oh. biscuit, oh. a breakfast biscuit, and they say, okay, sausage or bacon. What do you choose? I choose neither. Oh. I feel like fast food breakfast sandwiches are the most disgusting thing on the planet. That's why you get the oh. that's why you get the bacon because the bacon's way better than like No, you know what it is? Sausage, that rubbery sausage. It? No. The rubbery eggs is what ruins it. Oh yeah. So gross. So gross. So gross and Danny loves it. <laughs> loves so it. So gross all the way to my stomach. Yeah. Wow. That does look good. Yeah. What's everyone gonna be for Halloween? I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna dress up. We gotta see, you guys, give me and Danny some ideas. We don't know what to be for Halloween. Don't know. What were we last year? We're, we weren't anything last year, huh? Frankenstein, weren't we? Not last year, that oh. was like two years ago. Oh yeah, maybe not. I don't think we dressed up last year. Huh? No. Ooh, you guys gotta give us some ideas down below. We're not sure what we wanna be yet. Or if we're gonna be anything. We do have two of the kids' ideas. Costumes already, yeah. Yeah, and they're gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. So it's really just Ashlyn and Ethan. Yep. And Ashlyn, who, I don't even know what she's gonna do or if she's even gonna dress up, really. Yeah, she's getting kind of older, so we'll see. They might just go hang out, go get candy with their friends, but most people don't give you candy unless you're dressed up. She did dress up last year. What was your best Halloween costume growing up as a kid? Me? I don't even remember any of my costumes. Oh, really? Not one. That's how wow. bad they probably suck. You know what it was? I grew up in Idaho, and every year on Halloween, it snowed. So when oh. we would go out trick-or-treating, we had to wear these big old coats over our costumes, <laughs> so it didn't matter what the heck we were. Oh, Isn't pobrecita. Oh, you don't care. Yes, I do. I said poor baby. Mm-hmm, exactly. Pobrecita. <laughs> okay, you guys, that is a lot of sausage, but you know what? I feel like you could, oh, there you go, Benny. I feel like you can never, actually that's pretty good. That's pretty good, uh, it's not bad. Mm -mm. Okay, so and then I'm gonna just tear it, the bacon up and put it in there too. We got everything in here. So there's the bacon, sausage, eggs, potatoes, 
The amazing thing about this recipe, guys, is you can add whatever the heck you want. It's a breakfast bowl, so I could see you adding like green peppers, you could add what about cheese? ham, you could add cheese. You could add literally whatever you want, I feel like. So, wow, it looks so that good. It looks so good, right? Oh, I'm excited. Honestly, this is just gonna make life so much easier. Okay, so basically that's it, you guys. And then we are gonna put them in these little bowls here. I imagine if you don't have bowls like this, you can just put them in like the small Ziploc bags. You can put them in a big Ziploc bag and just disperse it that way. I just thought, thought this would be the easiest way for the kids just to have their own individual bowls. It's pretty hearty though, you guys, because I mean, we're talking, we got potatoes, bacon, meat in here. You could fill one to the max for me. Oh, look at that. So we filled all six of these little containers, which there's quite a bit in here, you guys. So I wouldn't be surprised like if Emerald and Elijah shared, Ethan could pound these down easy. But um, we filled up six of these. We got a plate side, a side plate for Daddy. So I would say, I don't know, six, over six servings that made. So yeah, not that's too good. Bad. That's not too bad at all. So. There's those, and then we've got our creamy salsa chicken and our chicken and gravy, and we're ready for the week, you guys. That's literally it. Wow. So good, I'm so glad. I'll, every time we make these and get done with these, I'm like, I feel relieved. Like, <laughs> we're taken care of for some of the week. That's like just easy, brainless, pour it in, boom, bam, done. So, I'm excited about it. Comment down below and let us know if you guys are gonna try one of these out. Yes. And when you do it, send us a picture so and let us know what you think of how they taste. Yeah, and you guys, we will, like I said earlier, we will be giving updates on what it tastes like on Instagram. And if we're vlogging, we will do it in the vlog. So stay tuned for our reviews on all of this stuff. And because we got a couple vlogs coming up this week, we've got Braden's update. You guys, we might have to take Elijah to the doctor tomorrow. Uh, uh... He, yeah, uh, he's been hurting he, himself all over. He his has. thumb, his toe, he can't walk right now, you he guys. He can't walk, like he's literally missing school tomorrow because he cannot walk on his foot. So, so. we're gonna go get that probably checked out tomorrow. We're gonna see how it looks in the morning and <laughs> yeah. go from there. Stay so. tuned for that vlog and then. Stay tuned, Braden calls tomorrow too. Braden so. calls tomorrow. Also, I've got my birthday on Wednesday. Woo! We've got a Costco grocery haul coming up this yes. week. Yes, we've got so much coming up this week. It's gonna be a jam-packed week of awesome videos, you guys. Yes, so. and if you have not seen our Jollibee taste test, go check it out to get yourself prepared because we've got another one coming to you guys. You guys asked for it and we did it and the kids are in it too. Yes. So you guys wait for that, that's gonna be awesome. All right, you guys, so that is it. Don't forget to subscribe so that you guys can be notified when a new video comes out. Don't forget to like this video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, choose your day.